Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Leon Samson, and I'm going to talk about the Trial Safety Surveys application, which is a shiny application to improve medical monitoring of clinical trial patients. A little bit about me. I studied medicine, and I finished a PhD in immunology and epidemiology uh, in the Netherlands. And especially during my PhD, I really developed a passion for data science and data visualization in the healthcare sector. I work at GCP Service International, which is a European mid-sized full-service CRO with the headquarter in Bremen in Germany. And we are running cost-effective clinical trials for biotech, pharma, and medical device companies. I work as a medical monitor, so I help to ensure patient safety during clinical trials. So what do I do then? I review, for example, serious adverse events. I check whether these events have a relationship with the study drug and I review all other kinds of clinical trial data and check whether there's a possible safety hazard for the patient or if the data actually makes sense from a clinical standpoint. I also provide my medical knowledge input throughout the clinical trial. So what is the problem? So let's say you have a patient who is getting a study drug during a clinical trial in this clinical trial, there are many different uh, parameters which will be measured, and they will all be uh, captured within the electronic data capture system. There are many uh, kinds of electronic data capture systems, and usually they're quite good in capturing the data. However, they're usually less good in visualizing the data. Some of these systems have some visualization tools, many of them do not have them. And um, often it's really hard to get like a consistent overview of all the data and what is going on in the study. So how do we do that right now? Right, um, before we had this application, we downloaded the data and then we provided a lot of tables to the medical monitor uh, for the review. This would work for smaller studies, however, if the study becomes larger and larger, you get more and more tables, and, it, um, and quickly it becomes really difficult uh, to maintain a consistent and an efficient overview. That's why we thought it would be a great idea to develop a new application. So the goal of this application would then be to improve the patient safety, by pr providing a consistent monitoring tool with insightful visualizations. The people who use it would be the medical monitors and the data managers. The application should be able to compare multiple variables between visits and between patients, and you should be able to highlight new data and give like an adequate overview of the entire study. How would it then work? How do we envision it? Um, you have the application here when the data is downloaded. Then you have different kind of forms. First of all, you have the common forms like the adverse events, medical history, etc. And then you have the study specific forms with other data, such as the vital signs and the renal function and so on. And if you click on one of these forms, you should be able to get an overview of all the different items and values measured uh, that are related to that form so that you can easily relate all the variables there all together. You should also be able to highlight one patient only and check them compared to all the data of the other patients in the background and you should be able to see what data is new and what data is old. After you uh, view one of those pages you need to be able to review it as well. So you need to be able if needed, to ask a new question, to uh, raise a query, to raise a concern, for example, should also be possible. And if everything looks quite good, you say, okay, I checked it, I reviewed the page, and I go on to the next page to, for my review. That you will do for every single patient in the study, and then once you've done, you should be able to create a report with the application. So, how did we implement this specific application then? Here's a brief, very brief technical overview. Uh, the study centers are all collecting data, they enter it in the electronic data capture system, 
then we process the data and we combine it with additional metadata as well, and then we uh, put it into a Shiny app. The Shiny app that we uh, created is all built uh, within the column framework um, with consistent and, and consistent R environment, and we use um, uh, version control with Git to make sure that it's a really robust uh, application. And uh, these are the most important packages that we use for the visualization. So, then it's time for a live demonstration of this application. Keep in mind, um, all the data that I will show, show is random, randomly generated, and it's not real steady data. The application looks like this. This is the start screen. First of all, you can select a specific site that you want to review. Usually, you get multiple medical monitors on, on a study, so you're not uh, reviewing all the, all the study sites. So I'm going to select, for example, the net, uh, all the sites in the Netherlands and in France, and the selection is applied like this. Then, here, you see an overview of all the patients that are included in the study, and how far they are in their respective study visits. Screened, if they have, uh, how many visits they have performed already, and what is their diagnosis. I can click on the first patient and check for the forms that needs any review. Then you see an overview of that. You see the status of every of those uh, forms, and you see that this shows all the new forms and the forms that have any updates in them. I click on the first one to go to the adverse events. And this gives you the uh, first big overview screen uh, for, to start your review. First of all, you see all the tiles on top. This gives you patient-specific information. gives you the name of the patient, a little bit information about the patient itself. And you see here if the patient is being enrolled or not. And click on them, and you see a little bit more, the status, etc. Uh, you see an other tile here with the uh, adverse events and the uh, SAEs as well. And you see how many forms you still, needs, you still need to review of this specific patient. Then, on the left side, you see all the review controls. You can use that for uh, performing your review. And then here in the middle is the main screen, basically. You see the different tabs here of all the common events, the adverse events, medical history, etc. And later on, I will show you also the study data forms. First of all, the adverse events, like you see here, it gives you a convenient timeline. It shows you all the visits and the treatments when they happened, so that you can really uh, relate all the adverse events and the severe, and, um, severe adverse events um, with any kind of treatment or visits. Then you have several options. You can either say uh, data reviewed and save it, or you can create, for example, a query. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to create a query here. Let's do that here. Click here and create query. Then I have to select the item, and that's in this case the uh, description here. And I'm going to create a query here. Uh, for example, that the query has been uh, successfully added to the database. I'm going to close this now. For the rest, if I'm content, I'm going to click on Data Reviewed and I'm going to save it. After I save it, you, know, you see a lot of things happen actually in the background. All the data will be saved, all your review data will be saved in a specific database so you can access it later. Then also the page changes, so all the rows here are not bold anymore, meaning that you performed a review and you saw the data already, and also the timeline is a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm fine now and continue to the next page, so I click next, and I see the medical history here. Let's say I'm okay with this, and I'm going to save it. The same happens here, the rows are not bold anymore. Uh, then I continue to 
medication, do the same, click save, and to the next form. It doesn't have data here yet, so I'm going to continue to the study data. Click next. Then it gives a completely different view because this is different kind of data. It's continuous data, so you can display it in a different manner. You can see here that our patient is highlighted here. And in the background, you see all the data of all the other patients so that you can compare it uh, with other study participants. Furthermore, you see all the dots here, that means that one of the study visits, and the smaller dots means um, you have reviewed the data already before, you looked at it, you reviewed it, and the bigger dots mean that it's actually new data. You haven't looked at it before, so you have to pay extra attention um, if there's any issue here going on or not. Then lastly, there's a color on these dots, and green means that the value is within the limits of the, um, the limits that are provided by the study site usually, and if the value is within the limits, uh, it will be shown as green, and if it's not within the limits, it will get a different color, and has a different meaning, um, and it means that the, the site has uh, deemed a specific point as clinically significant or not. So, I am okay with this, I'm going to save it as well, and then you will see that all the dots would also become small, you reviewed all the data. Then you continue to the next step, you see the uh, next one is uh, the electrolytes for example, um, I guess it's okay, I'm going to say review, but I'm also still going to add a comment because here you see that, for example, the sodium is a little bit low, I'm going to say, I saw it, the sodium, at this is it, 5, no, but acceptable, and then I saved a comment with my review as well. Great, I'm going to continue like this, for example, to the, another page here, and then have a look at it, and then you see, for example, the leukocytes that are quite high here. Let's say I want to have, um, create a query about that, why that happened. Let's see, if this is 2, the leukocytes, and let's say the leukocytes are high.
should create, yes, there it is. It will create a PDF report of you, for you, uh, with your name on it, the date of the review, and which study sites have been reviewed, and an overview of all the different data points that have been reviewed with the study ID, and all the study forms as well, and it shows your comments, and it also shows all the queries that have been raised. Good. This is basically uh, my live demonstration. Um, for the future improvements, uh, this uh, app is quite new still for us. And we are um, uh, working with that and we're still improving, uh, still improving and improving in it. Uh, first of all, the, in the future, what we really want to do is we want to improve the IT integration and the deployment so that more people can actually use it at the same time. We will also want to improve the app responsiveness uh, by improving the backend logic as well. And we want to write a, bit, a few more unit tests uh, than we have now, so, so that we really are sure uh, that the application is robust and that we can really develop it quickly in a consistent, consistent and robust manner. So, as a summary, usually you have um, uh, clinical trial, it, within a clinical trial you have many different parameters that will be measured and usually it's a bit hard to keep over, overview and keep track of all these different clinical uh, uh, variables um, at the same time. So that's why we developed um, a shiny application for medical monitoring which gives us a consistent and unified uh, reviewing layout independent of all of what kind of uh, electronic data capture system has been used. It's a flexible system because we can uh, improve it, we can add specific modules if needed, and it improves the monitoring of the patient's health and safety, it, it promotes better, quicker and more informed decisions, and it helps us to detect safety issues early. Of course, it's not uh, developing such an application is not a one-man show, so I really want to thank the entire team uh, of GCP service who helped us uh, helping with this. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.